Hi everyone. I thought uh, after today's lecture, I will show you the colligative properties by looking at the change in the freezing temperature of ice and uh, try and make some ice cream as I said in the lecture. So here in my uh, kitchen, I've got some ice and luckily I have some thermometer uh, where at the moment it reads about just above zero degrees Celsius. So uh, obviously the ice is, uh, is about to melt and uh, if I leave it here, naturally the ice will all melt over a period of uh, a few hours. However, if you want this ice uh, to go colder than a few degrees Celsius or below zero degrees Celsius, then the trick to do that is to add salt. And what I said before is obviously salt melts a little bit of water uh, in the ice and that takes away some of the heat uh, and cools, cools down the ice. So let's have a look. Now here I've got some rock salt which I'm going to add to the salt and we'll see the temperature as it drops. Give it a good mix. There's no right or wrong amount really, you just need to add a bit of salt and stir it and then see how the temperature looks like. If you don't get cold enough, just add a bit more salt. Okay, now I'll stick my thermometer in again. Let's see what happens to the temperature. Okay, so a few minutes have passed since then and I've had to add a bit more salt, but eventually I've had um, uh, drop in temperature and uh, maybe I can bring it close enough to the camera to to show you if it focuses properly okay so hopefully from there you might be able to see it's uh, just about minus 10 degrees Celsius now and if I leave it there hopefully it will drop one degree or so more uh, in the meantime uh, we can prepare our solution for ice cream. Uh, so I've got some condensed milk here um, and some milk and I've got a Ziploc bag in which uh, I'm going to fill up some of the condensed milk and milk and make a nice paste and hopefully I'll stick it into the ice cream jar. Oh. Okay, this is going to be a bit messy but that's okay, that's the fun of working in the kitchen. Okay, unfortunately I didn't have cream at hand. Okay, so naturally this uh, condensed milk has already got some sugar in it so I don't need to add sugar. Let's add some milk. Okay. And you can use uh, cream obviously to make it nice ice cream. Okay. I'm just working on the fly here. Okay, let's make them slosh them together. Obviously, to make it more interesting, you can add some flavoring to it, like chocolate or vanilla, whichever your favorite flavor is, and then, okay. And that's it. Nice 
nice sticky mixture. Okay, let's see what the temperature says. Hurrah, it's gone down to minus 15. Okay, so let's make some room for this to go in. This ziplock bag to be nicely sealed, you don't want salt ending up in your ice cream. Okay, now it's just about ready. Now you might want to keep stirring it or gently shake it to keep it well mixed and wait for some time to freeze it. Okay, so a couple of minutes have passed since uh, I put this mixture in the ice and uh, the temperature is still reading about minus 15 degrees Celsius and I can also see some uh, liquid water at the bottom of this container. I'm not sure you can see it on the camera just yet but what it is doing is the salt uh, melts the, some, some of the ice and uh, obviously liquid water is collecting at the bottom of the pan. The heat that is removed by melting of ice is coming from the internal energy of the ice itself and therefore the temperature of the ice water mixture is dropping and at the moment you have the salty water at the bottom and salt and ice mixture uh, in solid form and they are uh, some, somehow in equilibrium at a temperature well below zero degrees celsius whereas liquid water should not exist as liquid when it is below zero but now because the boiling point has or sorry the melting point has dropped uh, the liquid water can stay as liquid below zero degrees celsius okay hi again everyone uh, it's been uh, 35 uh, minutes or so since i've uh, put this mixture in the ice and it's time to take out and see if uh, we've made some ice cream oh nice and solid as you can see it's not uh, flowing anymore Let's see okay so time to enjoy your ice cream. I hope you try this experiment at home and use the colligative property of ice and salt mixture to lower the freezing point of water and make some ice cream without freezer. See you in the class again. Bye.